All right, Brian back here, San Diego Athletics. We are talking about how to progress through the EMOMs that are part of our fitness program here for this cycle. And uh, one of the next movements that we're gonna talk about is the handstand push-up. So the majority of people are trying to hit the same number every minute on the minute on the handstand push-up, probably using an ab mat, maybe not using an ab mat, it really doesn't matter. But just like the other movements, what we really wanna focus on is trying to not increase the number of reps that we're doing, but increasing the difficulty of the movement. So if I hit five reps every minute for seven minutes on my handstand push-up with one ab mat, it's too big of a change to try to just take away that ab mat because there's no chance you're gonna be able to make up two to three inches of space or whatever it is that the ab mat is. So instead of just removing the ab mat, let's go ahead and put a one inch or half an inch plate on either side. And now we've been able to, to make it a little bit more difficult by about half an inch. The same thing applies if there is no ab mat. If you're somebody that's doing your handstand push-ups head to ground and you hit five reps every minute on the minute, well, how about we progress a little bit slower, we put these plates down, now we go head to ground with a half an inch or an inch deficit and we're able to continually hit that same number each minute and progress up in that similar manner.